Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my Evil Hero deck. Now there's two basic ways to run Evil Heroes. You can run kind of just a standard Evil Hero build that's pretty similar to uh, Elemental Heroes, or you can focus on Dark Gaia specifically and just go for very huge power and OTKs and stuff like that. So this is the more standard build, just kind of focusing on the Evil Hero fusions. Um, again, kind of like Elemental Heroes. I might do the Dark Gaia version at some point in the future. Um, it's a little more, I guess, boring because it's like an OTK deck, but uh, I definitely might try to do it a bit more. I have a version of it that I made a while ago, but might try to make a new one at some point. Still, I think this deck's a lot more fun where you can bring out you know, a variety of different uh, evil heroes, but I will talk about the Dark Gaia thing when I get to the side deck. So first off for this deck, we have two of the core uh, elemental heroes, Sparkman, Clayman, Burstinurix, Avion, and Wildheart, because we'll be reusing them to keep doing the same summons uh, over and over again which is uh, necessary for how the deck works. And then we have Infernal Gainer. Um, so this one just enables you to power up your evil heroes, letting you uh, attack again with them, which is very powerful. And the nice thing is his effect, um, the cost isn't that huge. The fact that you lose him, but you still get him back eventually um, can still be a very powerful card for this deck type. And then we have two Malicious Edge. Uh, you can definitely run like one if you want. It's up to you. I'm running two pretty easy to get out because of his ability to become a single tribute monster and he'll be using him um, for the fusion as well. Very nice that he also does piercing. And then we have Targodia and Gores uh, helping us with the fusions that I'll talk about. Uh, high level fiends can help out uh, very nicely. Uh, so Targodia is just a great card overall uh, as well as Gores even though we're running back row still a nice card to have. Now for the fusion cards. So um, Dark Fusion is kind of just the polymerization but the big thing about it is that uh, the monster you summon really can't be affected by stuff um, during that turn. So you can go for the power very quickly. And then the other fusion card is Dark Calling. It's just kind of the miracle fusion for this deck. You uh, you, you banish cards from your uh, graveyard very nicely to get what you need. So you can continually bring out fusions pretty quickly, just like uh, with Elemental Heroes. Kind of the same thing. And then we have Emergency Call searching out this deck. And then MST, Forbidden Lance, very helpful for this deck to protect your monsters. A Dark Hole and Reinforcement of the Army searching out um, from your deck as well. And then for the traps, pretty much staple traps. Uh, not too much to say there. So now for the extra deck, going to have a few XYZs. Uh, Zen Mains, we do have a few level 3s, so that will allow us to stall in order to get what we need. Lava Load Chain can be nice um, getting what we need to the graveyard very quickly because of how um, we can summon from the graveyard very, uh, or use the materials from the graveyard very easily. Then Blade Armor Ninja, because we're running Warriors. Um, you can run Excalibur if you want as well. Um, and then the two uh, really powerful ones, Exiton Knight and Silent Honor. Definitely love having these. Uh, we don't have a lot of rooms room for XYZ in this deck, so I'm just using the ones that I think will be most effective uh, for this deck, and just overall uh, really good ones. So now for the Evil Hero Fusions, you know, what this deck is all about. Um, Infernal Sniper can be very useful for just getting your opponent's uh, life points down really quickly, and they won't be able to use spells to take care of it, which is uh, very nice as well. Inferno Wing, obviously it has some uh, pretty nice effects that it can um, do damage, kind of like Flame Wingman, but also the fact that it does piercing battle damage. Um, obviously its attack is a bit uh, a bit low, but still can be very nice. And then Lightning Golem, uh, pretty similar to Thunder Golem, can just destroy cards or monsters on the field, which is very, very nice. And then Wild Cyclone, um, just an anti-spell trap uh, monster, which is very, very nice. Uh, can really annoy your opponent uh, very quickly. And then the kind of the boss of this deck with Malicious Fiend and a higher level Fiends, which is why we're running the other Fiends um, that we have here. We could bring him out. So 3,500 attack. Um, your opponent has to attack, which is really, really uh, annoying for them. And with 3,500 attack, uh, very, very strong monster. So now for the side deck, again, side decks in my videos are kind of just recommended cards that can also work with this deck. You know, these are cards that I want you to think about when you're building your own, you know, evil hero deck. It isn't a side deck for matches, so don't try to think of it that way. It's not for siding or anything like that. So you can run Infernal Prodigy, which can help you get out Malicious Edge, but I'm not that interested in it. Um, just don't think it's that worthwhile. Um, you can run uh, Hex Sealed Fusion. It can be very useful if you're running, like, Dark Eye or something. Um, there's other higher level fiends you can run, like Caius. Um, I, pro I was probably going to run Caius if I was going to run Dark Gaia, OTK, or something like that. So that could be a powerful card. And, you know, other higher level fiends. Uh, Voltic is one way to get your banished heroes back, but with 1,000 attack, it's kind of difficult to do. Prisma can be helpful to, you know, get whatever you need to do the fusions, which can be nice. 
um, Darkness Neosphere like Kai is another very high level fiend that could be very effective for this deck type. And here's Dark Gaia. Um, if you just want to run Dark Gaia, you can just run fiends and rocks and run, you know, high level ones that you can dump and stuff like that. But, um, not going to talk too much about that. Maybe when I make a Dark Gaia deck, I'll talk more about how you can make them the most effective. But there's a lot of cards, um, that can be used for him very nicely. You can run Barrel from a different dimension from the, you know, to keep the banished cards coming back. And Vicious Claw, um, I'm not really sure if I want to run this card, but it's kind of supposed to be meant for Malicious Edge. It seems uh, interesting, but I'm not really sure if I want to do anything with it right now. Uh, Gold Sargophagus, you can't really search out your fusion cards, so that's one way to, you know, guarantee you can get them. Uh, Gates of the Dark World, interesting deck card for this deck, um, allowing you to kind of um, get, your, get your fiends to the graveyard and draw cards, which can be useful depending on how you're running this deck. Uh, Dark Factory of Mass Production, just getting your normal monsters back for fusions, which is nice, but you don't really need it because you can fuse from the graveyard. Soul Exchange can be useful to get Malicious Edge out, or, you know, other higher level fiends if you want to use, like, Caius. And um, if you really want to go for just that pure power and anti-trap kind of mentality, traps done, Royal Decree, things like that, used more, uh, more often in Dark Gaia, OTKs and stuff like that, but still can be very useful here. So that's my Evil Hero deck. Again, just a fusion deck, to very similar to Elemental Heroes, just doing it a little bit differently. Um, definitely very fun, uh, more of a fun deck than a competitive deck. Dark Guy is definitely the stronger version, just because of how easy it is to summon and do that OTK. Um, so yeah, I might do that at some point, but for now, these are my Evil Heroes, and again, they're really cool and fun uh, to bring out. But if you guys have your own Evil Hero deck, you could post below, let me know in the comments. You could talk about what, what cards you use in your deck. You can make suggestions for me. Uh, maybe there's some cards I didn't think about. I'd definitely uh, like to hear that in the comments below. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. <laughs>